This is the DLC character Jewel, who, like all of the others, is two bucks for Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Jewel has a very interesting limitation in that she has mostly predefined shot types. So when you go into her customization menu, when you change bullet type, she is somewhat like Beck in that her abilities for her shots differ by what bullet type, but for her, bullet type actually chooses almost every single effect of bullets. So she has her basic shot here, which you'll probably use most of the time, a flash of azure. It's just an orthodox, you know, standard sh sh straight shot, like it says at the bottom there. And multi-universe is this weird sort of wavy uh, wall penetrating thing. Idolate is this interesting, like, cluster bomb sort of thing. Indigo Destiny shoots off these two homing attacks, which is a bit more effective than it looks. Uh, Vast Circle is just this shield of bullets. Reincarnation shoots out these little uh, boomerang shots, and I really like that every shot has its own graphical effect. There's also Stratosphere, which kind of is a little wall climber thing. And finally, eventually she unlocks Tabula Rasa, which basically unlocks her skills so you can use any customization you want, just like the other characters. However, when Jewel does that, her customizations actually cost twice as much compared to having them used in these. So, while she might sound restricted, she has a very, very interesting skill. So, when she gets to uh, 50 to 100%, of her skill meter, just like Koro and most of the other DLC characters. You can use a skill which would be very uninteresting to show you in this room. Let me wait until we get some enemies. So, <laughs> when you have full meter, you can activate this thing that will let you completely ignore customization point limitations and just use every single item you want which it was that ridiculous bean that you saw there. To give you some frame of reference, that skill costs 46,000 customization points. I have a file that, I, that I've been playing on for like eight hours. I have less than half that many. That is ridiculous. It has absolutely everything. So we have infinite aerial actions. So she can double jump infinitely. I guess infinite jump if you prefer. Maximum knockback, maximum damage reduction. 16 shots a second, auto fire, triple damage, everything. You can put on everything. And that's where this is where Tabula Rasa is particularly effective because you don't care about the CP cost when you're using your Anthem skill. So it's an absolutely devastating boss killer. And um, I forget if it um, activates burst from a distance. I believe it does. Let me just check as soon as this fades away. Um, her other interesting thing is she actually starts with an aerial action, unlike any other character in the game. She starts with a double jump, and her regular 1,000 cost uh, uh, customization comes with that double jump, which it's very fun to uh, to do so. Oh, so it does not come with the burst, the free burst um, for any distance kill like uh, Corona and Ekoro skills do. But I, I think you can agree the amount of damage it deals. <laughs> Um, makes up for it. Also, when you're using Anthem, um, the, your score is not impacted by the CP of the, the uh, customization points of the, the skills you use. So you're not negatively penalized for using a ridiculous skill. Uh, it's totally free. The one thing that you need to realize is that you do have to change your skill manually because um, it's not like a preset thing. You gotta change to whatever customization set you want. So what I do for our Jewel is I only enable two. I don't usually use too many different customization slots, but what I do, go in here, alter quick equip, and I enable, this is my expensive one, this is my usual one. So this way, once I activate this, all I have to do is tap the L button, or the R button if you prefer, to change to my ridiculous damage skill, and there you go, just spray Obscene amounts of death all over the screen. Pretty fantastic. That's pretty much all that's going on for Jewel. Um, it is a treat to start off with her double jump. And um, it go she's the only one who has infinite double jumps as well. Um, which is just because that's a thing that you can do because of her anthem. As you can see, something you might want to do... <laughs> 
I love when they die so fast their the the animation can't keep up with how much damage they're taking. That is just delightful. <laughs> yeah, it's a real treat to be able to double jump from the very start. That's right, Parker. And her anthem skill just as you can see, very devastating. And other than that, she's pretty plain, um, other than the whole shot customization thing. That is the real the limitation, so to speak, but I think her abilities more than make up for it. And it's pretty interesting to have sort of a more traditional Mega Man sort of thing where you don't get to customize your shot, you get to pick which weapon you want. And uh, unfortunately, I don't find the, the other weapons, they're pretty expensive. All of them cost over a thousand customization points more than um, the default whatever it's called, Flash of Azure. Like, these are the base costs for them. This is the Black Hole one. You know, see, they're, they're pretty expensive. Uh, they're, they're decent, but um, I, I find it more effective to just use the Flash of Azure and just uh, use Anthem for your damage, because it, <laughs> it will do you some damage, let me tell you. So, that's how you play as Jewel.